Hello everyone, welcome to Huawei Cloud Tech Talk. Today we will explore the challenges of document recognition in the financial field and show how we use multimodal large language model to overcome them. Whether you work in finance or simply interested in AI applications, we hope today's discussion will give you some inspirable insights. Traditional recognition workflows for financial documents usually follow one of two schemas. The first one is image classification model to layout analysis model to OCR model. And the second is fixed template segmentation to OCR model. These approaches share several drawbacks. Document type classification issues. Different scenarios probably overlap in document types. So custom solutions often require repeated inefficient training. Following by the change and increase of bank business, the solution is expected to handle more document types. Therefore, it's really hard to list all document types before building a solution. And the second is field location and recognition issues. Conventional models are built for one document or one small group at a time, which leads to an endless circle of model building. Some layouts appear rarely or have limited labeled samples, so the model needs endless optimization. Following by special field recognition issues, handwriting tags, square seals, and other special fields are hard to recognize with traditional methods, which lack effective ways to handle them. So, can multimodal large language models tackle these tough problems? The question is yes. Next, let's see how multimodal large language models to work in real-world financial projects. In the prior experiments, we found that the general L0 MLM lacks some application knowledge of financial industry in many scenarios. Here, let's look at some typical examples. The first one is seal recognition scenario. Banks need to process company seals and personal seal in the specific identification. The model needs to identify the difference between the two types of seals and answer question about a certain type of seal according to the image content. Then, identification of money figure. When identifying the money figure by the general models, the figure is usually converted into yuan. But in many financial scenarios, the figures are expected to be extracted in the unit of yuan. Users expect that the model can rely, reply the actual amount of image in fun directly. Instead of processing the amount to the standard currency format, for example, yuan. Then, identification of checkbox. The bank checkbox uses a series of special symbols to imply whether it's selected or not. The L0 model contains almost no data for covering this scenario. As a result, the L0 model is prone to errors. The last, handwriting information recognition. The general multimodal large language model has a low accuracy in handwritten information recognition and is prone to inaccurate recognition or hierarchization. Therefore, we have constructed these four types of data and supplemented knowledge through fine tuning. We upload our targeted dataset to the platform and blend it with the general multimodal image tech dataset at a ratio 1 to 4. Each sample is supplied in JSON-L format together with its corresponding image, and then we start training on the platform. We upload the prepared data and convert it to the training format required by the platform. This step takes some time while platform process our data. Once that's done, we select our base LO multimodal model and start training. We can see that the training is complete and the model has converged. We tested the model on finite specific tasks and the results speak for themselves. After training, accuracy on these field recognition items rose sharply against several general large, large models. Our fine twinned model scores noticeably higher and can handle many recognition scenarios in financial field with a single model and absolute high accuracy. 
Through the above practice, we can learn the following experiments. Experiments 1. The multimodal large language model can replace the conventional recognition solution of a theory of small model. One model can be used in all scenarios and has better generalization. And the second experiment. When the multimodal large language model goes deep into the industry, we inject some knowledge based on the industry scenario. Model R Studio can be used to train multimodal large language models to easily inject knowledge into multimodal large language model and implement industry scenarios. Thank you for watching and I hope today's sharing is terrible to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. I will see you in next time. Thank you.